Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this daily PIB analysis video in the evening. These videos come in the morning, the Hindu analysis videos, they come and the PDF you will get on the Telegram channel and on my Facebook group also I have given this Telegram channel's link. So do not miss any PDF, do not miss any of these datas or MCQs and MCQs I am discussing in much detail uh, these days and many more MCQs I have been adding into PIB lesson because the data is updated uh, in a very less uh, amount these days. So I have shifted my focus more on the MCQs so that it would be a better approach and these things are gonna uh, help you a lot in the prelims examination this year and the next year. So let's move forward. These are the pen drive courses by Study IQ, and you can uh, have a great help by them. Call on these numbers and you can ask for these and 60% off is going on and it will remain till 31st of March. So it's a month and shell very very important uh, opportunity for all of you people. Next, first MCQ that I gave to you yesterday, Bharat Mala project. It is not the largest highways construction project. We cannot call it the largest one, although it's a huge one. But NHDP, National Highway Development Program, is the largest one in India. But this is also very, very important and it is connecting all the dots and uh, or, or uh, quadrilaterals, all these highways, border uh, roads and which are connecting uh, the neighborhood countries and all. So the main issue of connectivity is being bolstered by this particular Bharat Mala project and it is running through all these coastal states and all and port connectivity greenfield expressways all these are important components of it so this is a correct option and this is wrong and this is again wrong because there is a very important focus on northeast area their uh, connectivity through these highways has been a problem so the focus is given on the northeast states so d is the correct answer because it is asking about the incorrect ones so uh, look for this uh, word also whether it is asking for correct one or the incorrect ones you see here nsdp is the uh, biggest project here and uh, with this particular bharat mara project multimodal logistic parks are also being developed and they are uh, going to be connected with these uh, important highways inland waterways are also going to be connected with highways here and program project preparation asset monitoring all these things will be important components of it phase one is going to be completed by 2022 because multiple phases would be there and northeast is having important focus of connectivity here so this is data regarding uh, bharat mala next navodhya vidyalaya navodhya vidyalaya samiti is there this nvs is an autonomous organization under department of education which is working under ministry of hrd so indirectly it is coming under this ministry of hrd and uh, jawahar navodhya vidyalaya certainly they are for gifted students and alternate uh, medium of schools and cbsc has uh, affiliated its uh, courses and its uh, whole uh, process and it's fully residential uh, uh, school system and you see many informations were there regarding the suicides which were going on in Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalayas and why they were happening the regions uh, were to be uh, discussed but uh, it, that was very very unfortunate so it remained in much highlight for the last one year and uh, throughout the country they are established but they are not present in Tamil Nadu state so we cannot tell that uh, it is uh, present throughout the country so this option would be wrong because in Tamil Nadu these are uh, not a setup because of this anti-Hindi movement that was going on in Tamil Nadu so uh, one and two are correct and third one is wrong option so B is the correct answer here exceptions of exception of Tamil Nadu you can uh, note down here and uh, 6 to 12 standard classes are there and fully residential one next mca 21 ministry of corporate affairs 21 this is a particular app and for e-governance initiative this was started and uh, sorry ministry of uh, corporate affairs ministry of corporate affairs uh, app it is and it is enabling all the services in an automated way and these uh, corporate entities professionals and citizens of india they are availing the benefit of it and uh, uh, the documents are uh, being accessible here and all things are digitized uh, in the form and uh, effective resolution of uh, public grievances is also available and easy access to public documents so all these are important components of it 
when we talk about the corporate affairs the basic acts are companies act of 2013 and uh, 1956 that was the earlier one and uh, the limited liability partnership act 2008 and uh, compliance factor and legal requirements are core to these uh, operations and proactive enforcement enforcement of them that is uh, made avail, uh, made uh, easy here with this mca21 application so this is the objective and all these services are given here you can read the text here it is important and e governance initiative of ministry of company affairs or uh, the corporate affairs we can say next regarding the uh, cotpa it is the act of 2003 and cigarettes and other tobacco products prohibition of advertisement and regulation of trade commerce and production and supply distribution of it so in 2003 there was a world health assembly 39th world assembly was there and just to enforce uh, the provisions of it we enacted this particular act so this was important here so first is correct one tobacco products cannot be sold to persons below 18 years of age so this is wrong here it is not 14 it is 18 years of age till 18 years it is uh, prohibited and within 100 meters of these educational institutions school colleges nobody can sell these tobacco products and it will be written as a warning on these uh, packets both in hindi and english both languages so this is again <coughs> a wrong one so only one is the correct answer here and if you remember we have also ratified and we are a signatory to fctc convention of who that is also the most important one in this area framework convention on tobacco control okay and uh, this is a different one cotpf it is act of 2003 and fctc was of 2004 so that is important world world health assembly 39th assembly and these are the provisions that on public places the uh, smoking is prohibited and in hotels restaurants airports there are smoking zones only at those those places the smoking is allowed and on on roads in somebody's personal vehicles and all these are allowed and uh, in public places this is totally banned and the provision of 100 meter meter radius uh, for these institutions you should remember and the age Uh, limit of 18 years that is important here okay and you see in both the languages you have to uh, put it and food or drug administrate uh, administration officers or uh, simple uh, officers above the rank of sub inspector in the police department they are uh, given this authority that they can search any place and if they uh, found anything that is uh, suspicious or anything that is uh, related to the tobacco then they can seize this particular Uh, uh the the particular uh, uh, tobacco product and uh, the provision of uh, penalties and imprisonment is also there F on the first instance 2 years imprisonment would be there for the repeated ones 5 year imprisonment can be there and these are the penalties and fines which are given here and this act repealed the cigarettes act of 1975 that was regarding the supply and distribution so it is repealed now and uh, there can be no adverti advertisement endorsing these uh, uh tobacco products only uh, important uh, alert and warning advertisements are there these days okay before 2003 these uh, cigarettes advertisements were allowed but now they are no more allowed and many strict regulations are going on regarding that sharda prasad committee was regarding the skill council we have a 40 sector specific uh, councils skill councils and the ministry of uh, skill development and entrepreneurship that uh, uh, actually has a provisions regarding that and uh, if we go into the details the national skill development corporation is the main institution that is uh, managing all these uh, issues of a sector specific councils 41 you see in on the global level and when we uh, talk about the leading countries like germany and all they don't have uh, this many number of uh, sector specific uh, uh, skill councils they are less in number because they are harmonized and they are actually working in an integrated way because skills they are related to multiple industries they are not specific to a simple uh, one industry at one time so they are integrated one and this approach should be copied to the indian system also that uh, is the requirement of today so we are rationalizing them we are optimizing these Uh, skill councils okay so regarding that this sharda prasad committee was uh, constituted and that gave its report in 17 next saksham 
इट्स एनुअल फ्लैगशिप इवेंट अंडर द एजिस ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस दिस इज रिगार्डिंग संरक्षण क्षमता महोत्सव मीन्स कंजर्वेशन ऑफ पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स दैट इज एंडोर्स हियर एंड पी सी आर ए पेट्रोलियम कंजर्वेशन रिसर्च एसोसिएशन इट इज द रजिस्टर्ड सोसाइटी सेटअप अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस इट्स अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द मेन टास्क ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूशन इज टू प्रमोट एनर्जी एफिशियंसी इन वेरियस सेक्टर्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी and you see people centric activities and uh, to sensitize the masses about the conservation and efficient use of petroleum products it is the main objective here active involvement of oil and gas uh, public sector units state governments and all the stakeholders are taken here and the main issue is of the conservation and research of the petroleum products that is uh, promoted here under this saksham scheme sarakshan kshamta mahotsav okay next unnati program it is regarding the nano satellites okay uni space nano satellite assembly and training by isro this is the full form of it and isro is important body as we all know the main national space agency and uh, unnati you see nano satellites are the future in the future these satellites are not going to be that much bulky and heavy they are going to be very very compact because nano materials are being used so nano satellites are the future and anyhow they are developed the assembly integration and testing of these nano satellites that is uh, uh, promoted here for that this particular unnati program was launched by isro and ur rao satellite center is the main center in india for these satellite building programs so nano satellites are being developed here and main issue of ait assembly integration and testing that is done here and uh, three batches uh, in, uh, would be there and uh, the first batch of above program is scheduled during 15 january to 15 march of 2019 means that is completed by now and uh, nano satellites are the main issue here next the data of today biomedical research career program that is extended for next 5 years it was supposed to end by 2019 it was started in 2009 for 10 years now the extension has been given to it you see the future with the med medical uh, research is uh, connected with the biotechnology sector so dbt department of biotechnology is having a leading role here and the welcome trust it, this trust is uh, uh, in, in the country of uh, united kingdom uk and welcome was a scientist so welcome trust and dbt india alliance they are uh, working for this biomedical research uh, career program and uh, financial uh, implication will be 1092 crore rupees and the structure is given here the division of this finances is given here 364 crore rupees would be given by welcome trust and 72 by 728 crore rupees by dbt so this is important here and uh, as we all know uh, the perfect uh, approach for the disease and uh, mainly the uh, the the fatal disease like cancer diabetes uh, and uh, these are uh, coronary artery disease and all artery disease and all so they have a promising future in the biotechnology research and here uh, we may overcome the influence negative influence of these disease on indian masses and we have great challenges ahead and especially in the ncd non communicable disease area so here this biomedical research would be of utmost importance so that why that's why it's important now mou has been signed between india and croatia our president uh, is there in croatia yesterday he attended the, attended the meeting uh, in their parliament and in the field of tourism we have signed this mou ex post facto approval has been given to it okay on 26th of march it was signed so this is important they may ask you about it next mou is regarding the antarctic of cooperation and we have signed it with argentina uh, country argentina is uh, there in the southern hemisphere and the extension is going up to the antarctica continent because antarctica is a continent it's not an ocean there is surface there is hard ground beneath the ice 98% of it it's a uh, total area is covered by ice and uh, it this continent has the cleanest air in the world so Antarctica is very important for the whole world and politically it is regulated by 1959 Antarctica Treaty and uh, they all have a neutral stand regarding that no country has uh, a particular uh, uh, specific uh, control or specific uh, uh, claim there on Antarctica they all are using Antarctic land for peace and cooperation and for scientific research 
there may be many uh, important discoveries in the future in the antarctica uh, ice capture so this is expected that, that many more things are about to be discovered there so this is important dakshin gangotri was our first indian scientific research base station there that is closed by now in 1990s it was closed and our next one is the maitri maitri is situated on the rocky mountainous region in antarctica you can see the picture and the place is uh, skirmacher oasis so it is located here and it is the permanent station and we have also built a fresh water lake artificial lake around this maitri that is called lake priyadarshini so this is important and uh, in summers and winters there are research teams every year since 1988 to 89 and this maitri is going on so this is important for us these are the mcqs try their answers in the comment section and look for the additional data additional uh, research you all should do regarding these questions because these are exam centric questions and uh, you will see a lot of uh, details in the prelims questions this year so these are uh, the most important part of these lessons okay and the pdf you will get on the telegram channel and the link is given on this particular facebook group so you can send me a request i would approve that thanks a lot keep watching it was amazing